one, I guess, officially of Invisalign, January 22nd. I just got my trays today and my teeth hurt after taking them out for the first time. I just ate dinner. I didn't even eat it all because I was just, my teeth were like, it was fine from the dentist's office, my commute home, everything. And then I took them out and it was like, whoa. I just put them back in because I just brushed my teeth and I can feel it. My bottom teeth aren't that bad. It's my top teeth, which I got most of my spacing. Hey guys, so today was day three of Invisalign and I didn't film yesterday because I was sick as shit. So I was feeling sick and I honestly thought I had to be getting symptoms of the flu, but turns out today I'm feeling 100% better. So it must have just been a stomach bug. Something I ate must have not agreed. So yeah, but anywho. So that's why I didn't film yesterday. Another reason why is because my mouth is hurting because my is lying, but I'll get to that in a second. So I'm gonna give you the rundown of yesterday's whole experience and then today's whole experience and what I'm going through right now. So yesterday wasn't too bad. Um, actually, no, today wasn't bad. Yesterday was bad. Um, it, my bottom trait isn't bad at all. That I can tolerate 100%. And it makes sense because I didn't have a lot of spacing or a lot of changes within the time period of me not wearing my retainer. So there isn't a lot of moving on or moving going on with my bottom teeth. My top teeth, different story. I ended up getting a gap here and a little gap here and my teeth started coming out like this. So they're kind of like pulling them back and then straightening them out again or putting them in their place so my top teeth taking my tray out taking the tray out isn't the problem it's popping them back in so it was bad to the point where I didn't want to eat yesterday because I didn't want to take my trays out but also because I was sick and I didn't want to eat at all but I had to so after putting my trays back in after eating twice yesterday um, I had to take like five minutes to myself to like breathe through it and to just kind of not think about the pain and it's not like an excruciating pain it's just like one of those pains like similar to a tattoo it's it's like a pain you know that's gonna happen but it's gonna go away eventually so it's it's one of those pains that you kind of just have to breathe through it kind of like hold your mouth like this and just you know deep breaths deep breaths you know so that was yesterday today was so much better I was able to take my trays out and put them in no problem instead of like taking the five minutes to myself I took like 30 seconds to myself and it wasn't even like that it was like two deep breaths and I was good I didn't even think about it after that what I'm noticing right now is I kind of like have this itching sensation in my gums so the only way I can think about it only other like analogy is when you're pregnant so to all my ladies out there who are her moms or had a pregnancy you know when your stomach stretches out when the baby is getting bigger and you have that urge to scratch your tummy because your skin is stretching that's what I have, that's what I feel like is going on because my teeth are moving, my gums are kind of like having this itching sensation and not like a, I don't want to say like a legit itching sensation, but I feel like if I took a toothbrush and just like brushed my gums or like right here where my Invisalign meets my gums type of thing, maybe I would get that relief. Um, but I also have like this um, this habit that I've had my entire life that I picked up from my dad, which is chewing on the sides of my cheeks. And I don't know what triggers this habit. It's just something that I do um, unconsciously, like it just happens. I'm having like that same sensation in my gums in the side of my cheek right now. And it's more so on this side than on this side. and like it's I'm making a constant a conscious effort to not do it and it's like driving me nuts and I just don't understand why and the other thing I think it's when I take my bottom tray out that the attachment that's on 
this tooth um, like cut the inside of my lip and again sorry if I'm going to be like referring to traditional braces but that's the only thing I can relate it to because it's the only other relatable situation to this and also because I've had it before but like you know when you got your braces tightened and you'd get like the wires or you would have that bracket where you can hook the rubber bands to sometimes they would like cut the inside of your lips so your orthodontist would give you like those little packets of wax strips um, just to put on your braces so it won't irritate your lips and there won't be like that friction anymore and that will give your lip time to heal that is that's that feeling i'm getting but my lip is healing on the inside but i can tell it's with this attachment right here because that's where it's lining up perfectly and i think every time i take my bottom tray out and i eat i'm like rubbing the attachment against my lip so I think it's going to take a longer time to heal, even though I'm supposed to have these trays in 22 hours a day, which I have been. It's not like I'm going to keep taking them out to eat, so it's not going to give it time to heal as fast as it could if I just, you know, fix it. So I think I might, I'm going to see if it will heal on its own and go away, but that's what it that's what it feels like but it is healing it is getting better i've been checking it and it has been getting better but that's those are the only things that i'm running into right now no biggie um the pain has definitely subsided a lot so yeah that's my day three check-in i'll check in with you guys tomorrow and friday and saturday and sunday and yeah bye hey guys today is day four of invisalign and today has been great i brushed my teeth this morning popped them out no pain at all um popped them out to eat this morning so everything is smooth sailing my only fear right now is since i get new trays every week um i'm nervous that my mondays and tuesdays are gonna be the same like this monday and this tuesday where my teeth just felt really sore almost um and it was really annoying to pop my at least my top tray my bottom tray from the beginning was kind of you know eh, whatever like right now it's like perfectly seamless i was able to pop both of them out like how i was able to pop my bottom out from tuesday so yeah i just want to give you that update so yeah yay Hey you guys, so today is day 15 of Invisalign, AKA week three. So this is day one of week three. And yeah, I totally completely skipped week two and day five, six, and seven. Because you know what? How I left off with day four when I gave you that check-in is pretty much how it's been since then. My fear was that because of me having to change them so often that every beginning of the week my my teeth were going to be sore my mouth was going to be sore but um turns out not the case at all week two was like a breeze no pain whatsoever at this point it's as simple as popping them in popping them out and just it's super normal now the only thing is my lips are chapped 24 7 and i can tell you it's because of the Invisalign, because I'm constantly licking my lips while I talk. Um, so it's making my lips chap. So if you get Invisalign, I just urge you to get two things. Chapstick and get you Invisalign tray cleaners. Um, because that's the other thing that I wanted to mention. I didn't think it would be necessary for me to get them only because i only be wearing my trays for a week at a time but there is there are certain foods that just kind of linger no matter how hard you brush them like because right now the way i'm cleaning my invisalign is taking my toothbrush after i brush my teeth and rinsing my uh brush off really good and like scrubbing scrubbing the inside of my trays and on the outside and everything and it's it does the job for what it is but i would really like to get some of those like tablets it's kind of like a uh, alka-seltzer tablets for your trays where you just drop your trays in a cup and then drop the tablet and then it, it fizzes and cleans disinfects and all that so i think it would make more sense to do that like maybe once or twice a week and then um do it like while i'm eating dinner 
pop them out, put them in a cup, and then let it do its thing. And then when I'm done eating dinner, go brush my teeth and then, you know, rinse it off and then put them back. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but that's what I would strongly suggest, especially, especially if you're wearing your Invisalign long term. You definitely, I highly suggest, like the day you get your Invisalign, go get you some chapstick and go get you those tablets because those are the only two things that I have noticed. But I am really happy that my beginning of the weeks, my Mondays and Tuesdays, aren't as bad as my day one and day two because that was rough. I really just think that because it was something new, um, my teeth were kind of like in shock and it was just really... I don't want to say painful, it's just really uncomfortable. Oh, the other thing that I am doing, I mean, you can do this if you want to, if you're getting Invisalign or thinking about it, but I'm supposed to, because I started my Invisalign on a Monday, every Monday I'm supposed to be changing out my trays. I change my trays every Sunday night. Um, I think it's just better that way for me because that way, Sunday night I go to bed and my teeth are already starting to acclimate to the new trays and whatever they're going to do that week. And um, so far it's been working out for me and I've had no problems. Honestly, the way I feel like my teeth with the trays, I feel like like on last week, I felt like maybe I could have got away with putting in my week three trays on a Friday, but I'm not gonna do that extreme. I think me putting them in the night before I'm supposed to um, isn't a big deal. So that's the only thing that I'm doing um, differently but for the most part this has been smooth sailing and I'm really happy I'm doing this I just need to make sure that I have chapstick with me at all times because this is driving me banana nut balls too so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you some more updates if there's any that need to be I might give you like a like a check-in on how they're shifting so far and I will post a video like an update video uh, Sunday night or something like that but I'm definitely going to be posting this clump of updates and then I'll post another one and then hopefully by then because my next appointment is in March I will have two check-in videos in between my very first one and then my March appointment so yeah I'll see you guys later bye hey you guys so today is February 8th day 18 yeah, day 18 and week three of my Invisalign, and today I'm doing a little check-in. So here's my smile. I don't know if you guys can. I have already pretty much noticed the gap, sorry, <laughs> the gap in between these two teeth that uh, happened over the years uh, is starting to close. It's kind of hard to tell when you have the actual tray in because then you know that clear the clearness of it is like filling in that gap but I have noticed that this gap has gotten um, smaller and smaller and this one too and then I've also been noticing that my teeth are starting to get pulled back to just a little bit um, not a huge huge difference like it will be in the end but I have been noticing um, a difference in those gaps that were there yeah so my top tray has been like the ones that I can feel when I pop in and pop out. My bottom trays, I know all this whole entire 15 week experience, I'm gonna have them in. I know my bottom trays are gonna be super simple. Um, it's gonna be my top trays because that's, as I've mentioned before, is the most change that happened in between the time that I had braces and not wearing a retainer until now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my smile and I think I'm going to end this video or this update with this video check-in and then I'll start all over week four, do week five, and then probably uh, post during week six because like I said, this is for 15 weeks. So I'm trying to figure out how often I should do like little check-ins. So yeah, just wanted to check in. Uh, don't know how many times I'm gonna say that in this video. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Um, have a great day, bye. See you next time.